All right, so today we're gonna to give you a few examples of why you might be blowing some fuses on your 12 volt fuse board. First one we're gonna show you today is on circuit three, we have a 15 amp fuse. And what I'm gonna do right now is mimic a dead short. So I'm gonna short my positive to my negative. And you see a second later, that red light came on indicating there is a blown fuse. So a dead short is easy to spot by pulling the fuse itself, looking at the center of the fuse, and it's gonna look like it's blackened, almost had a little explosion in there. So that's gonna be a telltale sign of a dead short. Next one we're gonna show you on the bottom fuse here, we have a seven and a half amp fuse, and what we're gonna do is mimic overloading a fuse, so pretty much drawing more amperage than that fuse is rated for. So you can see on my amp meter, we have four amps on that circuit. We're gonna increase it to nine. And let it sit at nine, then we're gonna give it a little more. And then you can see that it blew. So what that means is you have too small a fuse on that circuit or whatever is on that circuit is pulling more than that fuse is rated for. The last one that we're not gonna be able to show you is um, the fuse holders themselves. If you have a fuse that just easily slides in and out of there with no resistance, what that does is allow the fuse to heat up prematurely. And the fuse will also blow if these circuit holders are not holding that fuse nice and firmly. So what you need to do is cut all power off to the coach. Use a pair of needle nose pliers to crimp these down just a little bit more. So it's holding the blades of the fuse more securely and not allowing it to heat up. 